equally worried but to answer your question whatever your apprehensions may be the supreme court does not share it because as compared to a man the supreme court feels that a word of a woman is sacrosanct the supreme court feels that no woman howsoever loose she may be will go to lodge a complaint against her own modesty being preached unless she's been cornered to do so Now that is a belief pandit ji i can agree to some extent to you that there are on and off instances where women may have taken advantage but still the court feels that these are the cases of exception and the laws are made on the basis of general perceptions and rules not the exceptions it will be highly unlikely that a woman shall go to the extent of lodging a false complaint of her own modesty being breached to settle some other score because as per law there are so many other provisions where she can settle scores she will not put her modesty at stake to settle some other score that is what is the firm belief of the courts but for a saving grace to you also if you are part of some working place then this working women sexual harassment of women at workplace prohibition prevention and redress act of 2013 under section 14 has made this provision that an appropriate action shall be taken against the women if her complaint is found to be false so there's some saving grace <laughs> trust me otherwise women now under 2005 act of domestic violence act are secured within the premise of the home or house against their in-laws husband and other kind of men by 2013 act they are secured at workplace and more against these domestic violence act they are secured in criminal justice system and ipc where a married women against dowry atrocities etc is already being protected under 498a of the ipc plus over and above this civil laws are also in favor of women that she can claim compensation and one more thing which is reminded to me just now that in these workplace act sexual harassment at workplace act another interesting provision has been added that if a person who's found to be guilty of sexual harassment to a woman is punished suppose he is convicted by the court on the basis of the report submitted by icc or lcc and the punishment is not only imprisonment but also fine and for the first time a new interesting provision has been carved out which was there in only some of the provisions earlier now by this act it has been said that the fine amount which is recovered from the guilty shall be paid to woman to the victim earlier in other provisions the used to go to state exchequer here the fine amount shall not go to state exchequer but shall go to victim and if the woman has suffered certain injuries due to this sexual harassment act then all her medical expenses shall also be borne by that employer or the guilty person so all this has been covered under this act 
I hope that satisfies your questions. You may not be satisfied, but <laughs> any other question? Thank you so much to hear me to tolerate. Thank you so much.